The Englishman, who likes to call himself a tree, believes our structures and procedures are outdated and in need of a reboot. We are the oldest average age in world football. That's got to change. And we've got to do that by the people at the top have got to look at the game differently. Football is forever evolving. We've got to move with the times. We cannot be playing 1970 Brazilian football in 2020. Give the kids a chance. They're out there, they're watching TV, they're listening to these top coaches around the world and they're recognising what these top teams are doing and then they're going back to their teams locally and it's miles away from that. He revealed that he always had the desire to assist local football from the national setup, but never got the chance until now. Last time when it came round, there was four candidates. There was actually three. There was myself, uh, Stuart Charles Fevier and Russell Latapy, and then a very late incoming uh, uh, Dennis Lawrence. And funny enough, all three of them got a job and I didn't. All the three of them working for the TTFA, I was the only exclusion. But you look at the way football has gone since that time, it's been pretty negative. So it might have been a good thing that I stay on the outside of that, because my philosophies are very much different to what I've seen there, what I've seen over the last years. And given his current position, he's keen to shake things up and inject some new ideas and new blood into the system. Kids 13, 14, 15 age group, if they're of a good quality, they need to be getting into the elite programme, which cannot be in one destination. So we're reaching out to different regions, making sure we've got a base close to where they can reach so we can see them on a regular basis. I would want the kids of quality to move quicker into Pro League, Super League football. So again, we get youngsters coming through the ranks in a more professional environment. And at the end of the day, listen, a lot of these kids will not be good enough for our national team. And if they want to continue with their academic route, absolutely, where you go, stay in the college leagues. But on a specific football background, we've got to have them youngsters playing professional football and being developed by professional coaches that are certified. So it's a new journey for TNT's football that is only now getting started under a new captain. Oskin Mark, TDT Sports.